Hi, my name is David Olson from davidolsonrealestate.com. I'm a certified residential specialist, a residential finance consultant, a short sale foreclosure expert, a social media and online marketing expert, and a local real estate agent and broker here in the Twin Cities. Today, I want to make a short video for anybody who's considering to purchase a home. And we wanted to make a profile video specifically for the city of Eden Prairie. As some of you might be aware, Eden Prairie, Minnesota, was voted the number one best place to live in the nation. And so we wanted to um, give more resources and information as to why Money Magazine uh, gave it that distinction. So we hope you enjoy, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much, have a great day. There's such a good support system here. You know, the whole Minnesota nice thing, um, it's actually very, very true. All your neighbors are really supportive. People cross the street, they uh, put my trash cans out on the pickup day. There's nice people around, I guess. When there's a football game, half the community shows up. You know, a lot of people ask me what's the best thing about Eden Prairie. And we have great facilities, we have great parks, we have great uh, opportunities for people to enjoy living in the city. But the best thing about the city are the people. Eden Prairie is a suburb of Minneapolis. We are in the southwest part of the metro area. We're about 18 miles from downtown Minneapolis. We are a city of about 65,000 people. I think people want to move to Eden Prairie for a number of reasons, but primarily because it is a complete city. It is a place where you can find you know, great schools, uh, wonderful parks, a lot of jobs, a lot of employers are based in Eden Prairie, and, and we have a wide variety of house, housing stock as well. It offers something for everyone. We're constantly biking, we're constantly longboarding, we're always at the beaches. I think a survey was done about 10 years ago that showed that per capita Eden Prairie had more open space saved for wildlife and parks than any other community in the Twin Cities. People come to live, to be active, and not to just to have a place to live where they go to work, but a place where they can enjoy the community and everything that we have to offer. Even in the winter, our activities don't stop. We've got um, races, we've got walks, we have plays on a regular basis and live music. There's always something going on. Oh, yeah. I think when you drive around the city, you see uh, a place where there's a great uh, family atmosphere. My kids um, are being raised in a community that really focuses on families and their needs. Great place to raise the kids. I came back here to raise my kids in fact. So. I think Eden Prairie kind of flies in the face of what the traditional model is for a suburb. We're a very diverse community and people are kind of amazed by that when they get out and see us. The face of Eden Prairie has changed. I mean today we have uh, kindergarten classes which are between 30 and 40 percent non-Caucasian. It's been a great thing for our school in terms of uh, uh, I think just giving kids a real-world perspective of what the, you know what the life is going to be outside of Eden Prairie. I love to travel to other places but I'm always happy to come back to Eden Prairie. Well, we're very proud of the city and I think if you look at Eden Prairie today, it is a result of hard work from, not just from the people who serve the city today and work for the city today, but also we are the end result of decisions which were made by the farmers who developed Eden Prairie 30 years, 40 years ago. We, we have kept their legacy alive, and it is the city today which people dreamt it would be, so we're very proud of it. 